Thank you very much. Now, one of the key themes that came out of today's uh, talk was uh, the social purpose of banking and what banking history means in terms of uh, the, the role that banking plays in society. So do you think that in the wake of the financial crisis, as banking is inextricably tied up with austerity and the notion of crises for European citizens, that banking history can have a role in remoulding public attitudes towards the banking industry? Well, I think it's a very good idea. Um, it's true that um, the, the, uh, uh, the culture of banking has changed uh, uh, during the last uh, decades, uh, probably when uh, um, <clears throat> part of the, uh, I mean, the traditional role of bank was uh, was really mostly to um, to finance through credit, and with the development of capital market, uh, market operations uh, became a very important part of banking, and then the culture changed. I mean, the relationship with the uh, the customer, uh, the 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 corporates uh, in particular. Uh, small, medium size, or even big size corporates, uh, was not uh, uh, as important as it was before uh, because the market operations were more technical. So the culture change and the focus on uh, uh, making profit on operations which were a little bit delinked from the relation to client. So I think coming back to history, understanding how um, the banking industry uh, really uh, uh, was serving society and uh, trying to reinvent it uh, in the new uh, modern environment is a, is a, that's a very good idea. And as part of that, do you think there needs to be more of a synthesis between banking professionals and banking historians? Well, it certainly um, um, is an important thing to uh, to try to uh, to get those links. I mean, if historians work in their uh, on their own and uh, without contacts with the practitioners, uh, uh, they certainly can play a role, but much less important. And I think if we, if we want really history to uh, uh, to be part of re-engineering the the culture in banking, uh, we need to take on board practitioners. So all these things that were uh, mentioned this morning. Uh, are, in my view, extremely important, yes. And what are some of the specific challenges in writing banking history, given that so many of the operations of central banks, particularly the ECB, are conducted in secrecy? What are some challenges in writing the history? Well, I, I would not share completely, I mean, since, uh, this idea of secrecy, I mean, this uh, an incredible uh, amount of, uh, of things which are uh, said, published, explained. Uh, I mean, the ECB in particular was the first central bank in the world to uh, invent the, con the, the press conferences after their, their meetings. Uh, at, at the time, I remember some colleagues like the then governor of the Bank of England told me, oh, you're incredibly bold to do that. I wouldn't dare to do it. Uh, and we did it, and now we've been followed by uh, other uh, key central banks like the Federal Reserve uh, uh, or the Bank of England. Um, uh, and, and so I, I believe that there is much more uh, in the public than is uh, often said. But nevertheless, I think the testimony of, uh, of those who have uh, taken part in uh, in, in building the history, so to say, is important. So I think this kind of uh, uh, of event like we have today and the roundtable we're going to have, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to, to speak with uh, 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 Mr. Tigerson and uh, Gunther Baer uh, from the BIS who took a very important part in the preparation of the of the uh, monetary union are important uh, events to try to uh, to get the the uh, the souvenirs and the, and the testimony of those who uh, took part in making the history. And finally, this week, uh, the auditors of the European Commission criticised the Commission for their handling of the bailouts in, in Ireland and Portugal. Do you think, therefore, that um, banking history can provide lessons for the future in how to avoid crises of the sort we've seen in the past few years? Well, I think, uh, yes, that uh, it's... Uh uh, certainly a way to clarify things. I personally do not share uh, the view of the of the Commission that uh, made that criticism. At least I think uh, things were much more balanced than the, uh, what came out. Uh, but um, it's only by uh, confronting uh, uh, memories and uh, and uh, uh, 
the, the testimony of facts and uh, the reasons why uh, this or that was done, uh, that uh, we can clarify that for the future and maybe uh, um, uh, will help uh, in case uh, other problems arise in the future to have the best possible uh, way to solve issues. Mr. Noir, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much.